I got the components to put the hydraulics on the snow plow. I got two hydraulic cylinders, ordered these off of Amazon. Then I got 490s, which are going to hook into the hydraulic ports. Put a 90 there, a 90 there. And then I have my three hydraulic hoses. I got a five foot, a six foot, and a three foot. The five and the six are going to come off the third function. It's the third function here. There's a male and a female. There's the coupler for the male. There's the coupler for the female. I have my thread sealant. So basically now, just have to get these things plumbed up. There's one cylinder there. I haven't taken the other one out of the box yet. And once I get uh, it plumbed up, I'll try and you know, hook everything up to the tractor and see if my figuring is correct. But I think I have it figured where I can. Well, basically, I have an inline going in on one end, in to one end, which will make this extend. This will be the out, which will be crisscrossed to the lower port and the next one. And then the top line will go out to the tractor again. The way I have it figured, was that way they should run in series. But I could be wrong about that, so that's what's going to be interesting. To calculated something. So the way I have this hooked up from the third function valve, I have coming in to the cylinder here from the tractor, then I have an out going from here and crossed over to here, and then I have the other line for the third function going there, but now that I've seen how this is working, it'll turn it the one way, but it won't pull back, so uh, my guess is the cylinders are fighting each other. Um, so what I think I'm going to try is I'm going to probably flip this cylinder around. I'll 
take this connect, take the pins out, flip it around. So it turns out I did some extra work there, but now I have the one cylinder going back and the other one going forward, but I think I'm going to leave it like that or I see how that's going to matter. Anyway, so the hydraulics are basically run parallel. I wasn't 100% sure how that third function really worked. I didn't know if one was a push and one was a pull, um, which apparently that's what it is because um, I think because I start the hydraulics off and they're in the opposites and they stay synced in the opposites, but they're in what I would consider paralleled because I have the hoses coming out of the third function in the same spot, which is in the back part of the hydraulic back here. And the connection between the two is at the top part of the hydraulic, which is up here, and now it works. I'll give you a little demo of it. could have sized the hydraulics better so I mean, if I was doing this again there's probably a few things I would do different one thing I am gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to weld some kind of a guard or something down below um, because I have to have my fittings facing down which I realized part way through this because uh, when this thing angles if the hose was up here it would basically collide with this piece. So 
had to have those facing down. Or if I would have got the, a different type of hydraulic cylinder, then I suppose I could have had them coming out the side. But just poor planning on my part. And not really know what I was getting myself into, I suppose. But uh, I think it's going to work. I have still have some work to do on it. Like I said, down here, I'm going to have to I'll probably weld some kind of a guard, like a shoe, um, on the bottom of this. When I push this down the whole way, this will go to a float position. So basically, it'll go down as far as it'll let it go. So I'm going to have to. I'm gonna have to figure something out there. 